Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Sippy Touching. All right, number six. <clears throat> At the end of every month, mil <clears throat> millions of people post photo dumps on Instagram. They're basically snapshots of the past 30 days of their lives. The pictures are usually random and might include meals, <laughs> selfies, book quotes, or pictures of their pets. But according to younger generations, photo dumps are cringe. <laughs> it's no longer cool. Yep. In fact, posting on Instagram is also cringe. Here Nobody's doing it anymore. And by nobody, we mean people under 15 who think they make all the rules, but <laughs> yeah. make no money and contribute very little. But none of that matters to actual grown-ups. Yeah, so when yeah. we say young people, are we talking about, hey, like, younger than Listen, let's than you, celebrate. They've got, Brett? We're always after the young people. They're getting it right. Yeah. Like, the rest of us are, we're posting pictures of food. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah you know they've just moved on to them that's dancing that, on TikTok. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's fine, but at least someone's made a step in the right but direction. But how are we defining young people now? Anything yeah. under 100. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I don't know, who has that many interesting things in 30 days that are, mm. that are worth That's why they're cringy, though. They're not interesting. No. Like, the first couple are cool, and then you're like, mm. why do I what? see a picture of, like, your dog in front of the trash can in your kitchen? Like, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God bless. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. All right, number five. You haven't lived until you've tried <laughs> Stanley Tucci's scrambled eggs. All right, eggs. let's try this. <laughs> okay. You're rolling? I'm rolling. Okay. This is what I made for the trip, which is scrambled eggs, mushrooms, all these different kinds of mushrooms, and some spinach. Oh, and then I put a little parmigiano on it, and then we're gonna have it uh, as uh, sandwiches. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Okay. Mm. So it's just scrambled that's eggs that. and vegetables in it? Huh. That's disappointing. <laughs> and that's like an omelet, right? Sure. Except but, it's not folded? But there, he said yeah. putting them in sandwiches. Oh yeah. So like, so it's an it's egg really sandwich. Sand yeah. mm -hmm. I'm a uh, scrambled egg girly. Good for him. <laughs> Living his best life. Yes. There you go. Number four. Yeah, speaking of Stanley's, uh, check this out. The all-new Stanley All-Day Slim Bottle. It's perfect for mm. holding beverages you want to keep fresh, like wine or pop or any Ooh. other carbonated drink. Mm. Plus, it's cup holder friendly. And here's the update. The bottle has an added opening at the waist, <laughs> so you can take off the tapered section, dump the ice, and drink it like a regular cup. By the way, if you want uh, to sound in the know with the Stanley crowd, uh, that part of the all-day slim bottle is called the collar. And it comes in 20 and 34 ounce versions. Uh -huh. So now you know. There you go. Number three, check this out. These are renderings for the upcoming Floating Glass Museum project. It's inspired by Venice's history of glass production. Mm -hmm. And it's meant to be a combination of function and experimentation. The product will be presented at various cities around the world, including Dubai, New York, Hong Kong, and Singapore later this year. It's meant to be a statement on climate change and the fragility of the planet, which is why it is made out of glass. Mm. Why are you growling? Yeah, why was that growl? It's another one of these things that's never going to come to fruition. No, I think this one it is, exists. actually. No, I, don't, I doubt it. Oh, it doesn't? No. Yeah, no, no it's coming. Sure it just just yeah. maybe not coming to America. It's upcoming. Yeah, but it I exists already? I still don't think it's no, going to come. No, it's upcoming this year. Oh. Yeah. I doubt it. Well, that's let's, true. Let's check in in a year from now. I promise you <laughs> okay. it won't be there. Uh, <laughs> All right, number two. We're looking at the most streamed songs of the 20th century. It's a classic. Even I know this one from Journey. A singer in a smoky room. A smell of wine and cheap perfume. For a smile they can share the Boy, night. She's got the voice of an angel. <laughs> <laughs> downloaded more than 1 billion 124 million times and played at every single sports game oh, yeah. Yeah. ever classic played <laughs> all right number one already that time a woman got the wrong answer on jeopardy 40 years ago 800 at the winter olympics this american won gold with a four and a half minute program that featured multiple triple jumps Deb? Who's Mary Lou Retton? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. 
who is Scott Hamilton. <laughs> Back to you, Jesse. <laughs> well, you can see uh, the similarities. Uh, yeah. 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 Not that far off. It's an interesting mix. This American won gold. The four and a half minute gold medal <laughs> featured multiple triple uh, jumps. Yes. Yeah, uh, not wrong. Scott Hamilton is a gold medal figure skater. Mary Lou Retton is a gold medal gymnast. Yeah. Uh, both did win their medals in the 80s. Other than that, they have absolutely nothing in common. Uh, wow. Oh. Good try. <laughs> Close enough. There was a lot of yeah. bad haircuts in the yeah, 80s. There was. Yeah, I can attest to that. Yeah. Right. All, All right. right. That's it. your six at six. Nice day here today.